guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, sorry, nothing weird about this one. So for this video, it feels good to film again. The last one took so long and I enjoyed seeing the reactions uh, to the tardigrade. A lot of you were disappointed because you thought it was going to be a cute cat or a cute reptile, but no, it was a microscopic animal. But for this video, I wanted to go back and try to find even more apps that have been banned from the App Store or Google Play. I always like seeing what I'm gonna find because these really show some of the worst ideas humanity has created. So I have a few pretty bad ones, but I also wanna go through apps that I found that I think should be banned, but they're not banned yet. But I think I'm gonna make a strong case as to why they should be, or they will be in the future. Well, I wanna start with one that was once on the Google Play Store. I don't even think it got approved ever to be on the App Store. And when you hear the idea of it, it seems like it could be cool, but how it actually works kind of ruins it. It's called How Tall, and it's an app that measures how tall you are, but you do it by holding it at the top of someone's head and then just dropping it. So you could potentially shatter your phone but at least you know how tall you are. So when you first open the app, it at least gives you a warning. It says to drop it on a soft spot. So they're at least trying to warn you, but at the same time, their logo is of a phone getting shattered. So I don't know, that kind of makes it seem like they want you to break through. I don't know if they're against me or with me. I found a copy of it online and I want to actually test to see if it actually even works. And if my phone does shatter, this isn't even my real phone, so I don't care. I don't have an Android as a phone. <laughs> I'll actually maybe use, I'll maybe drop it on this subscribe pillow. So just, it, just in case. <clears throat> it says drop the phone from the top of the target. Hey, that wasn't bad. The pillow broke the fall. This saves so much time from a tape measure. And it says that I am 5'5". Five five. That is not true, okay? That is not true. I'm not Joe Rogan height. I, that's, this is inaccurate. I thought this was gonna be kind of useful because on YouTube, you kind of never know how tall someone is. Should I do it again? I feel like I don't even have to prove that I'm six foot. I feel like I don't look short, right? You know what? This time with no pillow. Five seven. Or does that say 57 inches? What is that? 4.75, I'm not, that's even worse. No wonder this app was removed. Not only can it potentially break your phone, it sucks. I'm not four foot seven. I'm not, it, this, this hurts my ego. I'm gonna doubt, I'm gonna push the doubt button. Your phone might be broken, a new phone is required. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me go buy a new phone and then drop it to potentially find out my height, okay. Next app I'm gonna talk about, now this one actually got banned last year during kind of like the peak of COVID era. It was an app called Vibe Together and the website is actually still up, it's just not on the app store. And Vibe Together was basically an app that promoted secret parties during the time that gatherings weren't allowed. This is where people that just needed that, that party fix, who cares about the raging virus, Party! And this app, it truly didn't even shy away from the idea. They even encourage it. They tell you to be a rebel. Come on, be a rebel, just be a super spreader. Last year, I actually knew people during the peak of the pandemic, I knew people that were still going to parties. Parties never stopped at ASU. Young people could not be stopped from partying, even if it came at the risk of killing grandma. The party must go on. Through an archive page, you're actually able to see what it looked like when it was on the App Store. You can even see the review. Like this review says, from college kid 1999, the best way to find a good time in 2020. So unfortunately, if this does seem like your kind of app, it is no longer on the App Store. The website is still up, and I think they might be trying to relaunch because they have an early access you can sign up for. So they might be trying to relaunch. This might be coming back just in time for the new variants. So I obviously signed up. My status is currently pending. I hope I get accepted. When signing up, you actually have to go through the rules. One of the rules is, or it says right here, no narcs. No narcs at the party. Uh, am I a narc for talking about this app? Moving on though, the next app we're gonna talk about, now this one was banned all the way back in 2012. So it's a really old app. It was an app called Boyfriend Maker and it was pulled according to Google because of dirty chat. And that was a problem because it was rated for ages four and up. According to this screenshot, it got, it, it is not stuff 
four-year-olds should probably be talking about. This screenshot, the AI would reply with stuff like, want to shower together? <laughs> I don't know how you program a game with that kind of response and then make it a four-year-old four game. To test it out, I've actually downloaded Boyfriend Maker. I found a copy of it online. I want to see if I talk to my boyfriend, if he's going to say dirty stuff like that to me. So this is the screen that I talked to him. What should I say? Hey. What are you doing tonight? Oh, an ad. Tax debt, okay, that's cool. An ad just, a tax debt ad just popped up. He said, oops, I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm gonna ask him, do you have a shower? Oops, I don't know what to say. It can't even respond to me. This app sucks. I feel like you probably have to level up your boyfriend before he starts talking wild to you. I'm not gonna do all that. The next one, now honestly, I don't even know if this one was ever actually an app, but I do know it was banned on Steam. So I'm not actually gonna be playing a version of it, which I'm okay with. This one is so bad, it would almost be a little uncomfortable to even play. It's a game called Playing History Slave Trade. So that's a fun topic to begin with. And keep in mind that this game was apparently made to be educational. And so in this game, there used to be a mini game that you could play, and I found a screenshot of it, where you pretty much pack and fit as many slaves in a boat. As, as many as possible. Kind of like Tetris. What a fun spin-off, huh? So just based on that idea, you could probably imagine why this was probably not the best idea for a game and why it was taken down. I actually found some footage of the gameplay and it's just why. Why make, why make this a fun game? But a lot of people were debating if this game is racist or it is educational because it brings awareness to that horrible thing that humans did not even that long ago. But in general, just making a fun game out of this concept, I feel like there's better ways to probably bring awareness to it. Okay, moving on. Now this one, unfortunately, this got banned this week. This exact week, the Google Play Store is banning all Sugar Daddy apps. I, this one I kind of disagree with. I don't know why. According to this article, it, they're all gonna be taken down by September 1st. It says here, according to one user, Sugar Daddy apps have earned them a whopping $18,000 a month. See, in that case, that's great, and I feel like them taking down all these apps is kind of robbing people of opportunity. It says at Cambridge University alone, over a thousand students were sugar babies in 2019. That is a lot. To be honest, I know girls that literally just get paid by guys for nothing. They don't even hang out with them. And that wasn't even from a sugar daddy app. So to be honest, the opportunity is still there. I have a couple more that I want to talk about, but like I said in the beginning, these are going to be ones that actually aren't banned, but are ones that I believe should be banned. This one I found, I don't even know how I came across it, but you'll see why it should maybe be banned. It's called Sus Adventure 2. I couldn't even find the first one. Maybe the first one already got banned. So just based on that name, I want you to take a guess. Try to imagine what Sus Adventure could possibly be with an eggplant as the main photo. If you guess that you're a cartoon sperm going through some kind of intestine, some body part, I don't even want to guess what it is. I'm kind of fire at the game though. Is that Hasbula? You know what I'm thinking about this? I might have to blur the main image. I might have to blur the sperm. I don't know if that's allowed on YouTube. I don't think I've mentioned it every time, but in the past year, I've gotten like three strikes on YouTube from videos I posted like four years ago. The thing about this game is that it's not bad like programmed. You have to know what you're doing to make a game like this. So to dedicate such Great graphic animation skills on this game. Why? Next one, now I think this one should be banned, not because it's inappropriate, just because just the visual of it. And this is it, this is horrible. You drive around as a baby car. And that's the whole game. I just don't like this concept. Look at it, look at the baby car. This should be banned. The next one, now this is actually gonna be the last app that I'm gonna talk about, and the concept is just one of these things that it doesn't need to be a game. I was surprised because there's actually like five different versions of this game, all called Don't Drop the Soap. They're all the same. The goal of the game is you're, I think you're in prison and you gotta keep bouncing the soap up. Which when I was trying to play this one, I couldn't even get past two. This is, it's so hard. It doesn't register, see? I lost. 
and now I'm getting It's blurred out, but it shows someone came in when you dropped the soap. So there you have it. Those were all the inappropriate apps that I was going to talk about for this video. If you know any others, let me know in the comments. Here is Queen Kitty in case any of you wanted to see her. There wasn't enough kitty in this video. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. So thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you next time.